is jetpack. This is pst. Or pst or something like that. This is a tick attack. This is Lunar Jetman. This is Cookie. This is Trans Am. This is Nightlaw. This is Alien 8. This is Nightshade. This is Gunfright. And this is Saber Wolf. What do these 11 games have in common? Besides being all fantastic games for the Spectrum, except perhaps Trans Am, these all are ultimate play the game games. And they're all available in one big box called The Collected Works, one of the most sought after pieces of Spectrum history. Number 9 Sega! Sega wanted you to buy everything from them. Sega! This next little item combines the Genesis or Mega Drive as we call it, the Sega CD, or Mega CD as we call it, and a portable CD player, all in one little item. It was called the Sega CDX. And this is it. It's quite a simple idea. Take your Genesis and your Sega CD, put it in one unit, and squash all the electronics together until it's about the size of, well, this guy's hand as he shows us. From the look of the picture on the auctions, uh, it's still boxed, it's in great condition. Uh, comes with several games, um, including Sonic CD, which is a fantastic game. If anyone's played it, they'll tell you the same. Number eight. It came from the third dimension, with its own brain, its own voice, its own legs. There's only one problem. It needs your eyes. Yep, at number eight we've got the Virtual Boy. This is a fully boxed Virtual Boy. Um, as you'll see in the pictures coming up, it also has all of the released games um, released in the USA, including the very rare Jack Brothers, uh, which is quite a find in itself. Everything seems to be in perfect condition, and this is quite a find. Um, even if you don't like Virtual Boy, I mean, let's face it, it was a massive flop. Uh, it's still a fun little console, and this is definitely one for collectors, and it's going to fly up in value. Number 7 June 6th, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha. A powerful biological weapon under secret development there is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Hideo Kojima, famous for his Metal Gear series on the MSX, Nintendo and Sony consoles, also released this game. It was called Snatcher, again written by him. It's a cyberpunk themed adventure and it was uh, only ever released in English on the Sega CD and Mega CD systems. Um, for this reason, and pretty much this reason alone, it's it's worth quite a lot of money now. And due to the success of the Metal Gear series, just seems to keep flying up in value. Um, since the release of Metal Gear 4, this particular game has gone up from like 50 to 80 pounds. It's it's getting quite ridiculous to be honest. But um, for anyone who's played it, they everyone seems to really enjoy the game, and uh, it's probably the best game on the Sega Mega CD um, for most people. The newest version of the Amiga is the Model 3000, and here to show it off is Headley Davis, Amiga Product Development Manager with Commodore, and also with us, Sam Palinuk. Hi. Sam is a producer with the software division of the Disney Company. Tim? There's been various models... The Amiga 3000, when it was released in 1990, was the first of uh, Commodore's second-generation Amigas. Um, it was incredibly powerful for the time. Um, it cost £3,000, hence its name and was used uh, by video editors and multimedia creators. Um, this particular auction will not fetch anywhere near that price, of course. Um, it's quite an old machine now, uh, but still quite sought after by collectors. And um, this, the guy who's selling this doesn't actually realise that uh, the Amiga 1200, which he's throwing in for free, is actually newer than the 3000. 
So, uh, go grab yourself a bargain. <laughs>